it's Nikki here, and it's time for a brand new episode of The Nikki Show Holiday Edition. We're coming to you live from our very own real life gingerbread house. We built this whole thing using science. And you know what they say about science when at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Well, of course we like to try and get it right the first time. Bobs, what did we say about icing? That you can never have enough of it? Mmm, mmm. Or that you need just the right amount to make sure your gingerbread house is built to perfection? Oh, right. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own gingerbread house masterpiece. Don't worry, this one will fit in your bedroom. Here's what you'll need. Half cup of soft butter, half cup of dark brown sugar, one fourth of a cup of light molasses or dark corn syrup, one tablespoon of cinnamon, one tablespoon of ground ginger, one and a half teaspoons of ground cloves, one teaspoon of baking soda, and two cups of all-purpose flour. In a large mixing bowl, you're gonna mix together the butter, brown sugar, molasses, cinnamon, ginger, cloves, and baking soda until the mixture is totally smooth. Then you're gonna add in the flour and water. That's right, but not just any flour. We suggest bread flour because it's got more proteins, which makes the dough tougher so that your gingerbread house won't break. Right, Robbie? Hehe, <laughs> don't gotta tell me twice. And voila, the finished. <laughs> Once your dough is all ready, use a knife to carefully cut out six rectangles, two squares, and two triangles. This is where you'll need a parent to help out. Mom! Coming, honey! Pet you guys are wondering how all this flat dough is gonna turn into fluffy, delicious cookies, huh? Uh, nope. I just accept this kind of stuff. You see, the heat from the oven turns the water from the dough into steam, which rises up and up and makes the dough get bigger and taller. Then, the baking soda turns into gas and rises too. And that is the science behind making cookies rise. Thanks, Mom! Next on deck, the icing. Tip of the day, always make extras so you can eat the leftovers. Nom, 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 nom. All you'll need is a pound of powdered sugar and two egg whites. Beat them together with an electric mixer until the mixture gets stiff. Want to know how it gets all gooey? Thanks, Robs. You see, beating the egg whites make the proteins inside break apart and then join together again. But this time, even closer and tighter together. So is that what makes the egg whites get hard? Exactly! And the sugar makes it sticky. So, we've got the perfect glue to make our gingerbread house together. And for the best part... Candy! You got it! Just pop on all of your favorite gumdrops and gummies and peppermints and... Ta-da! Our very own gingerbread house! It's perfect! And eating up right afterwards! Well, that's all the science we have time for today, folks! Don't forget to comment below to let us know which awesome science experiment you want to see next. And don't forget to tell us how your gingerbread house comes out. Be sure to post pics on Instagram and tag us at Cool School Show so we can check them out. And hit like and subscribe below to catch more episodes of The Nikki Show. See you guys next time. Bye!